Jersey City, bigger is better when it comes to planetariums, a bigger dome to make the audience ooh and ah, more pixels to make the stars and planets sharper, more colors to make them more realistic, more windows on intriguing but distant nebulas, more images of Earth as a shimmering jewel against the dark drape of space. This is especially true when the planetarium in question is in New Jersey, a state that perpetually has a chip on its shoulder. That may or may not explain the debut of the largest planetarium in the Western Hemisphere and the fourth largest in the world. It opens this week in Jersey City. The top scientist responsible for it, Paul Hoffman, the president and chief executive officer of the Liberty Science Center, boasted that it was so large that the Hayden Planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History in Manhattan, the starry destination for generations of middle school field trippers, would fit inside with room to spare. He also noted that it sits at the edge of a park 370 acres larger than Central Park, before adding dryly, I'm not fixated on size. Could this be the beginning of yet another rivalry between flashy, famous New York, with its museums and its velvet ropes and its A-list parties, and New Jersey, the Rodney Danger Field of States? Their competitiveness, as old as muskets and three-cornered hats, has ignited disputes about everything from tunnels under the Hudson River to football teams that play in one state but keep the other state in their names. Drive Neil deGrasse Tyson, the director of the Hayden Planetarium, is diplomatic and also pragmatic. Schools in New Jersey might not come into the city because of the traffic and the bottlenecking that happens when you have to cross the Hudson River, he said. If you're a school superintendent, you'll think about going to the closest place. And if it has a really good projector, he said, that's great. M. R. Hoffman said the new planetarium actually has 10 projectors. He also said that Drive Tyson had a standing invitation to come and run our planetarium if he gets tired of New York. The planetarium here officially the Jennifer Chalstey Planetarium is 110 feet in diameter, with a screen that is 89 feet in diameter. The Hayden Planetarium is 87 feet in diameter, and its screen is 68 feet in diameter. The Chalstey Planetarium named for a high school teacher turned philanthropist who gave the Science Center $5 million to build it, has 400 seats, and the Hayden 429. Astrophysicists say the numbers have meaning. A bigger dome is like having more memory in a laptop or more horsepower under the hood. A larger planetarium better simulates the experience of being out in the night sky, Mr. Hoffman said the experience is much more immersive. He is betting that the Chalstey's digital projection system, connected to servers that can display satellite images from space almost as soon as it downloads them, will be an audience attention getter, if only because it is the latest technology. He said the world has changed in the 17 years since the Hayden's last big update. We all work on screens nowadays, Mr.